I'm going to take you through the interactive pop-ups tool from Viper. So this is a tool that you can add to your website to help improve the conversion rate from your website visitors to email subscribers. So if you have an e-commerce store, a blog, or something that you want to turn your traffic into email subscribers, this is a great tool and you can usually expect to see a two to three lift in the current conversion rate if you've already got a pop-up on your website. Now this is because this tool involves gamification in the way that it collects leads. So I'm just going to show you a bit of an example here. So say I am on this website, I'm visiting and I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave. I go to leave the website and the interactive pop-up will show. So the main sections of this are the logo, which you can change out, the text and title, which you can also change, the add your email and spin now. Now the important part of this is that you can actually choose all the prizes that you want to offer your visitors. So you can offer PDFs, discount codes, free products, whatever you really want to offer them to in incentivize them to enter their email address. Now this works so well because people love playing games. And so I'm just gonna show you how this works. So if I enter my email to win something, I'll then click to spin. And then from here, I can claim my 10% off. You can either copy it to clipboard and then you can one, redirect someone to a specific page. So you could actually send someone to the page or collection that you're offering this discount on. You can send them directly to a product page or you can send them straight to your homepage or a thank you page on a completely different website. It's totally up to you. This, this button here is 100% customizable to any URL or people can just exit out. Now once you exit, you'll see that there's a timer down the bottom here as well as the coupon code for someone to uh, re reference when they go to check out. So that's how the tool works. I'm just gonna jump in and show you some examples. So this example here, you can use a background image instead of the transparent background that we just saw. And this one here, you can choose this template which has no background on it. It's just the plain image. There's no buffer box like you see here. And this one here is another one with gradients. So you can use gradients and this can be solid or transparent up to you and you can change this to hundreds of colors or thousands of colors really. So let's jump back into how to set one of these up. So once you're in your Viper dashboard, you can go into the get started with the interactive pop-ups. Now you can either create a new one or edit your existing ones. You can also see um, the conversion rates, the uh, archive, duplicate, edit, whatever you would like to do there. So if you go to create a new one, you'll just have to put in your title brand and you can actually choose from the templates that we have here. Uh, for the speed of this, I'm actually going to just go and edit one of the current ones because I've got all of the rewards already filled out. So on this test pop-up, you can see that all we've done is enter the title, domain, brand name, and you can choose whether you want this pop-up to show on a mobile device. And if you do want it to show on a mobile device, you can also uh, choose the scroll amount that you want that pop-up to show at. So you could have it at 50% of the page or 90% of the page. So you want people to see it just as they hit the bottom. So the next step is simply just to add in your prizes. So when you're adding in a prize, you get to choose the gravity. So the gravity will determine uh, what the chances are of winning. Obviously the higher the gravity, the higher the chance of that prize getting rewarded. And with that, you just have to put in the name. If it's a coupon, you can put in that coupon code like you saw with the example, it was the 10% off coupon code. And this is that URL option that you can choose. So if you were to link to a product page or if you were just delivering a, say a PDF download instead of a coupon code, you could leave the coupon code field blank and just put the direct download link in here for your PDF. You can also put some redeem instructions in there. So it could be click the link below to download or use this coupon at checkout. And so you can put up as many as uh, prizes as you want in here. We usually recommend around eight as being the sweet spot. Obviously some of them you can make unwinnable. So, you know, spin again and that sort of thing to, or you can even offer something for free, but have it not winnable or put it at a very low gravity. Uh, you can uh, really use this to incentivize, pe incentivize people to take the gamble whether or not they're gonna win that. So the next step is the design. So this is the example that we were showing, that you were shown at the start of the video. You can see all of these text areas and buttons are editable. You can add a background image. 
This is where you choose your gradients. So if you wanted to change this to a gradient background, like we were just doing, you can change that to gradient and it completely transforms the pop-up or you can put it back to a solid color. The other thing you can do is adjust the opacity here. So say you wanted to have it 100% uh, transparent or 100% solid. You can choose between that and set that transparency. If you're a bit of a techie, you can also customize with any of your own CSS in there uh, to really customize this to make it look very on brand. Uh, the other thing is we have all of the wheel colors. You can have up to four and you can also customize the text colors, button colors and all that sort of stuff. So the next step is just integrating this with your uh, email service provider. So we have a few here and the, if you're not part of any of these, you can also use the CSV export. So there's tons of options to export all of your collected emails. Once you've uh, hooked up your email service provider, all you need to do is go to the last step, which is actually to add this to your website. So the benefit to this tool is that you can actually add it to any website you like. All you need to do is take this line of code and put it into the header of the page that you want this to show up on. So this could be the header of your entire website, or it could just be the header of a landing page. Uh, it's completely up to you. The other option that you have is to just get the interactive pop-up URL. So the benefit to this is you can actually fire this pop-up on a button click or you can use it as an Instagram bio link or something like that. So you don't necessarily have to have this on an exit intent. You can also trigger this pop-up based on a URL. So you can use this on any CTA or any link um, or any linked text or whatever you'd like. So you have those two options on how you'd like to use this tool. So yeah, jump in there, have a play around, let me know if you've got any questions 